Hello everyone, and welcome to something completely different for Halloween, which is... Let's Die Horribly, playing SCP Containment Breach. It's like a Let's Play, except with much more death. So, let's get started. Of course, we're going to have permanent death, because that's what you do. And... Well, I guess we'll put in my standard name. And that will be me. For now. Quite briefly. We shall die horribly. Let's die horribly. So this game is a fan... Uh, well, it's an independent little free game made by a bunch of people who are fans of a website devoted to a bunch of kind of creepy, sometimes funny, and fairly bizarre stories. It seems like kind of a cross between Twilight Zone and sort of creepy pasta phenomenon that started a while ago. And as pointed out by Carpero in chat, it's also the secure copy command in Linux, but that's not important right now. Anyway, this game is basically a first-person roguelike set up in that world. It, a nice little introduction to get yourself used to the general idea. And inventory, so this is our introduction to who we are. We are... So I'll go through it. SCP, Secure, Contain, Protect, Orientation Leaflet for Class D Personnel. Hey, you go, go away, I'm, I'm reading. Please step out of the cell. Oh, shoot. Well, he's probably going to kill me, but I'll just read through this for now. On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one-month working period in one of our top secret research facilities. Unfortunately, the exact details of your- Shut up, you asshole. You know what? Fine. Fine. Whatever, you're going to be an asshole, fine. I'll just- This one- must be retarded or something. <sighs> Just follow me. We're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. Wrong way. Get over here right now. So anyway, the background of this game is you're essentially a prisoner that's been locked up in a research facility of dubious intent that is trying to use you for some experiments or another. As can be seen by the guard's attitude, your life is essentially forfeit and of no meaning to these people. For all they care, you can go die in a fire. Also, as you may have noticed, blinking is a mechanic. In the bottom right corner, you'll see my eye bar there. Every time it goes empty, I blink. I can also hit space bar to blink. This will become very important soon. The other bar is sprinting energy, is stamina. Here we are. Follow the instructions from the intercom, and you'll probably be fine. So, this is the main part of the game. Attention all Class D personnel. Please enter the containment chamber. So for a bit of background, the thing in front of us essentially kills anything if Please no one's looking at it. If someone's looking at it, it cannot move. And that's why we're here. Because we're here to stare at the thing so it doesn't move. And of course, as lights go out, you die. Hello, freaky monster trying to kill everything. I'm just gonna leave you. And that thing is how we're probably going to die horribly. Alright. So, now that we have a... Well, wait until I stop talking. Once you have a moment of peace, I can go over some of the stuff that... Reading. Well, okay, the alarms make it a little bit difficult to read. Would you quiet those alarms down? Thank you! Goodness sake, that's annoying. Hmm. Anyway, let's get to reading. So... On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one-month working period in one of our top-secret research facilities. Unfortunately, the exact details of your upcoming work assignments are highly classified, but please read this document carefully to make sure your stay is as safe and as pleasant as possible. Each of the Class D personnel has been given a numerical designation. Your personal designation is D9341. Please memorize your designation as a staff will be used to refer to it to you from now on. What staff remains, as the case may be. During your stay, you will be taking part in various testing procedures. Some of them can be extremely dangerous if appropriate precautions are not taken. This is why we need your full cooperation at all times, in all circumstances. Our highly trained researchers and scientists know how to minimize risks and ensure the safety of the personnel involved in testing. Right, as we've 
clearly seen you're doing a bang-up job. If you fail to comply with the instructions you are given, you will be sent back to your term in death row. Well, that explains why our life is forfeit. If everything goes as planned, meaning that we have your full cooperation, you will be released at the end of the month and you will be granted an absolute pardon for all your previous offenses. Survivors will be pardoned. Ah, here we go. Small explanation on the thing that's trying to kill us. Item SCP-173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel must enter SCP-173's container, no fewer than three may enter at any time, and the door is to be relocked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 until all personnel have vacated and relocked the container. Description! Origin is as of yet unknown. It is constructed from concrete and rebar with traces of Krylon brand spray paint. SCP-173 is animate and extremely hostile. The object cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with SCP-173. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. Sounds pleasant! I'm sure that will happen to us several times. In the event of an attack, personnel are to observe Class 4 hazardous object containment procedures. The reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of these materials is unknown, although I'm sure it can be quite easily guessed at. The enclosure must be cleaned on a bi-weekly basis. So as you can see, this thing is trying to kill us, and everyone who tries to stop it gets killed horribly and shits themselves in the process. So as can be seen, important thing here is both inventory and these door switches. These door switches, if you press them, close doors behind you. Very important thing to happen is like, see this guy here? That's the guy we're worried about, right? We look at him, we're okay. If I close this door, we're okay-ish for now. Although it can open doors, but as long as we're not... Oh, come on now. As long as we're not opening doors... Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, wait, you're the thing that's trying to kill me. Eh, okay, you can go away. Nope, we're dead. Death count one! And so we die horribly. Right, let's try that again. Although, ah, naval interesting, so I don't want to get rid of that. So now that I've explained it, let us continue di- Oh. Let us continue dying horribly. This is a game of very sudden deaths. You have to be quite careful, and as you may have noticed, those door switches, they tend to be in such a way that you can't easily press them and maintain line of sight with the thing that's trying to kill us. It's just how the way it's set up. This facility is not particularly well suited for emergency security precautions. So anyway, this starts right after the thing has been released and we can go about our merry way trying not to die horribly. Oh. No, I probably should leave here. Apparently Southeast Wing, something important. We'll have to see about that later. I'm not sure where that is, actually. Unfortunately, they did not provide me with a compass. Apparently, death row inmates are not particularly important enough to know what direction they're going. No sense of humanity, I must say. Actually, let's check our inventory. 9 volt batteries, a gas mask, and a keycard. Could be handy. As this is a roguelike inventory management, is important, so it's important to know what we have in our inventory so that we can actually make the best use of it. You know, for so we don't die horribly. Oh, and gas. Well, there we go. The gas mask makes it really hard to see, gotta be honest. Hmm. Is way out of here? No? Maybe? Oh, come on. There's gotta be a way out of here. Hmm. Nope, this is kind of disconcerting. I think I need to have run through this faster. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Okay, well. Let's just go across all of the walls in a very careful and methodical fashion to ensure that I am not, in fact, stuck. And... Nope. Note, it would appear that I am indeed stuck. Oh well. Let's start over. 
So that's one death to neck snapping and another death to essentially starvation in the middle of a gas-filled room. That second death wasn't sufficiently horrible for my tastes. Gotta find better ways to die. Oh well. I'm sure we'll have that happen more or less sooner or later. Hope you're all enjoying dying horribly so far. Unfortunately, not that many horrible deaths yet, but I'm sure more will be coming. Actually, although I would like to actually get through more of this game and see a bit more of it. The opening section is probably the least random, or seems to be the least randomly generated of any part of this game. Nope, then they try and kill me. Okay. So batteries, gas mask. Well, let's see, is he around here? Oh, there he is! Okay. Ooh, so close! But nope. Oh, what the? Oh, that's just nasty. Seriously, clean that up. Goodness sakes. Some people just have no sense of decency. Well, some... I suppose not so much people as... strange... unknowable eldritch abominations from beyond time and space. Like, or at least bizarre things with very little explanation for their existence or mode of operation. What they don't have any good explanation for is why they're being so impolite. I mean, seriously. Put that in a bag and put it in a dumpster where it belongs. Oh, what? Again? Well, I just... I don't even know. Oh wait, I'm going around in circles. Well, that's unfortunate. If I'm going around in circles, that means that the thing trying to kill me is over in that other room across the wall. I went down the hall here. Ah, here we are. That's the. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, hey thing. Oh, oh, get... oh. Darn. Oh well. That's. That was a. That was. That was a horrible death. That works. This is really annoying. I actually don't like that gas filled room. I was hoping to avoid that. From what I can tell, it looks like you have to run through that room really fast with the gas mask on and get from one door to the other. But. That's a pain, because if you don't do that, you're, you seem to be stuck there. I might be wrong. I kind of hope I am. But. As best as I can tell, that is how it works. You're basically just sort of dead. Oh, are people having problems? Are, is there problems with the stream? Sorry, I hate, to, I hate to break character right now, but are there problems with the stream? Because as far as I can tell, there aren't really, but I mean, there might be. I can tell there aren't really. Oops. No, okay. Well, this testing it apparently is getting sound through. Let's get back to dying horribly. And hopefully not dying quite so horribly because I just realized something. No. Next time I die, I think I'm gonna invert my mouse. I'm not sure if that's an option. There's the key card, and there's the nine volt batteries. Nope. Oh, what the? Oh, come on. Oh, okay, let's... So I'm pretty sure the thing is usually inside that area down there. And that's another corpse dropper. Seriously, guy. Learn how to clean after yourself. Oh, this is another one of those rooms with a door. <sighs> oh, here we go, something different. Hooray! Something more interesting in my last few lives. It is locked. Oh, come. Oh, wait. There we go. See anything special around here? Hmm. Can't seem to close the doors after myself on that one. Encourage caution here. And it seems to have a rather ominous looking airlock, but only an empty wall. How bizarre. Anyway, generally a good idea to close these doors after yourself because, of course, this thing can follow you and kill you. And it takes a little while to open doors, so at least that gives you some time to... 
Well, that was annoying. Give you some time to get away if it's coming after you. However, on the other hand, and stops it from coming at you, surprisingly. You can hear it coming. On the other hand, if the doors are closed, you basically can't open them without dying horribly. So I will leave a few of them open. Just to make sure I have a clear path to run away. Well, walk away backwards. Oh, and how about that? A key card. You like this one? It does. That's not a good sign. That may have actually been a bad strategy. Let's find out. Wait. Oh, that was a bad strategy. Because it's over there. It's somewhere in this room here, I think. Yes, in fact, it seems to be right in front here. Well, I'll just close this door, and we'll be on a merry way. Because apparently this is a bad way. Actually, I wonder if I can go through here. Let's see, because it's inside this room. If I open that door, I'm signing my own death warrant. But, well, okay. Beyond what has already been signed for me, given that I'm on death row. Let's just double check. Oh. Yep. I was right in there. Oh, of course. I had to blink. Well, that was foolish of me. We died horribly. There we go. Invert mass wide axis. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. Right. Let's try not to die horribly. Quite so horribly again. But then again, that's what we're here for. To die horribly. Because it's Halloween, and on Halloween we play scary games. Well, okay. I can't really be scared by a game. I mean, really, I was considering doing Amnesia, but honestly, that game cured my fear of the dark, so... I don't know. Also, that game's been done to death. So that's why we do SCP, because that's been done less to death. Though this may be getting a little bit tiresome, I might imagine, if... If it is, let me know. If so, I might switch over to another game, like Slender or something like that. And I... Oh, for... Shoot. Well, the game just crashed. How wonderful. That kind of takes you out of it. Alright, well, sorry about that. I... Well, let's try that again, then. Yeah, that's... This game, unfortunately, can be a little bit finicky. Nope, another memory access violation. Okay, seriously, why is it site vaulting? <sighs> well. How annoying. I mean, seriously, what the heck's going on there? Alright, whatever. Come on. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. It's apparently just deciding to seg fault on me and not do anything that it should. Alright. This isn't working out. Sorry about that. Well, let's see what other games we have for dying horribly. I guess there's Slender. That is another one for dying horribly. Certainly. Or Penumbra is being suggested. That's also a dying horribly game, but that'll take a little while to install. Because I don't have that installed. I only have Overture, I don't have the original. Also, that's kind of long. One thing I was kind of going for with this game is that it's not nearly as long. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have a version of that Slender game installed on here.
Mm. Nope, apparently not. Derg. In either case, is a problem with. Installation. Okay, you know, I'm just going to stop the stream for now, and I'll be back with something else in a few minutes. Sorry about that.